Hello and uh, welcome to this exciting tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about AnyDesk. AnyDesk is a remote desktop software that allows users to access and uh, control a computer or a device from a remote location. It provides a way for individuals or teams to collaborate, provide technical support, or access files and applications on a remote computer. Now, with any desk, users can establish a connection between two devices over the internet, enabling them to view and control the remote desktop in real time. The software offers features like file transfer, keyboard synchronization, session recording, and remote printing. And uh, it is available on various operating systems, including Linux, Mac OS, Android and iOS. So to start using AnyDesk, you simply come to AnyDesk.com and then you click on Downloads and then you choose the download that you would want. Is it for Windows? Is it for Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux, FreeBSD, Raspberry or Chrome? So in this case, I'll download for windows i click on that and then i click on download now now once the download is complete i simply come to where the download has been saved and i double click on that to run any desk and then you notice we have a nine digit code here and this is the code that we are going to use to invite the second desktop now I'm now going to share the second desktop and here it is. It also has its unique uh, 10 digit code. You notice this one may have nine and this other one has 10 digit code. And so you have to install any desk on both computers and now it is open. So to invite, uh, click on invite here. And then here, I'm going to give the code that is on the second screen as you can see one zero zero seven 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 zero six three and then i can decide on the profile here whether i want it to be a default screen sharing full access or unattended so if for instance if i select on default you notice it gives us what default will have and then screen sharing when i have full access and then we have an attended access. So let me click on full access. And this is what full access will give you to hear the sound, control the device, keyboard and mouse. To restart my device is not given. And then you notice all the others are checked. If now I check on something else to just compare, screen sharing. And then you now notice all these are deactivated. I cannot hear my voice, I cannot control, all I'll have is screen sharing. So you choose the type of profile that you would want. For instance, I can choose full access or unattended access. So for unattended access, you notice this is all that I get, almost like full access. So unattended access, although it's different, has almost similar characteristics with the other one. So once I have changed that profile, I will now click on invite and I want you to see what will happen on my screen too. You notice now we have two notifications here, the one for connect and connect here. So I can click on either or reject. So in this case, I'll click on connect, connect here also. So now connection is in progress. You can see that on screen two. And then now on screen one, you notice we have gotten this request as you can see whatever i'm doing on screen one i can also see it on screen two and so let's start maybe looking at a few characters that we can deal with here so if now i come to let me minimize this so if i want to chat now with the second computer i simply come down here and i can type a message so let me type the message Hi, Joshnet Computer 2. And I click on send. 
just look at both screens you notice it's also on screen two this message that i've sent and i can also reply to that using the second screen i simply come down here and then i just type the message and i click on send and now you notice that i can control either screen one using screen two in this case i'm actually now holding my second computer mouse and as i drag it you notice it's the same thing is happening on screen number one if i now come on session started you notice the cursor is moving on the same way if not i click on the first computer i get two cursors you see we have user and we have the other one because now the two computers are connected so next i can also use file transfer and then i can also transfer files uh, in these computers you know notice i can come here i can access the file on this computer you notice what i'm doing on computer one is exactly what i can also do on computer two so i can transfer a file directly from this to the other one so that is another thing that you can also do with any desk you can transfer files so you can also change the settings that you had established in the beginning for instance you notice here we can allow the second computer to also have control we can also allow it to use file manager that is it can also access file manager like you can see what i'm doing now i'm using the second computer to actually access the first computer and i can now access the file manager next i can allow it to use clipboard now let me see, show you what i mean if now I copy something from my computer, let me go to my downloads. If I copy this image for rocket lane, copy, I'm using computer one, copy. Then I will now go to computer two. Now you notice I'm using computer two, although you may not see any difference because the cursor and the pointer are moving the same way. If I right click now using computer two, I can paste that and there it is we have the rocket images here and we have a copy here you notice now with this feature I can copy something from the first clipboard and I can allow the person who is on the other computer to paste that so I have given access to that the next item you I can allow to hear sound so if I place something on computer a this first computer it can be heard in the second computer here. You notice it's almost the same thing. So you should be able to hear that in the second computer. So next, I can also allow it to hear a sound from the second computer. So if I play something from this computer, I can allow computer number two to hear that. Now, the same thing, I can allow the computer to record a session, basically to record the screen. And finally, I can also allow the computer to draw on the screen. You notice that here we have a tab that is not active. Now, to activate tabs on any desk, you simply click on the tabs or you come to here where we have the profile and you decide which tabs to activate or deactivate. For instance, let's say I want to deactivate the tab for hearing sound. I simply click on that and you notice it is now grayed out that means the second computer cannot access the sound from my computer i can also decide to deactivate use of clipboard from the remote computer such that what i copy on my clipboard using the first computer cannot be accessed by the second computer so to activate the tabs again you simply click on them and they are back to activity so that is how you use AnyDesk and it is a great tool that, that helps in collaborating maybe in a team where you can be working on the same files and maybe the files are stored on one computer and you are able to access those files remotely from the other computer. I hope this has been helpful about AnyDesk. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.